Hello. Right. So I'll do a quick video of, rather than taking pictures of me, Nays 32 settings. I thought I'd do a quick video. It takes a couple of minutes to do and upload to YouTube, so I thought it'd be easier. So there's a mini, all plugged in. Flash in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, excuse the messy table. I've got a lot of projects on. Um, okay, there's a home screen. But yeah, what you can do is you can probably pause throughout the video to um, try the settings and the PIDs that I've got in yours. Um, I'm running 2204s, 2300 Emacs motors, 4SL, uh, Lime. Turnigy Nanos, uh, 1600 milliamp 4 cell. <clears throat> uh, 12 amp ESCs running blue heli firmware. Uh, there's no one shot or anything like all that fancy malarkey on it. It's just as it is. Okay, so I'll go along you know, each, each screen. Each and show you what's what. You can see so there's the main page. Uh, what I've been doing recently with concerning these uh, PIDs um, how I do the adjustment rather than carrying a, a cumbersome laptop to the field I uh, just use an OTG cable and use my smartphone, which is so much so much easier. And what I did was with the pit of the field, um, I cranked them, I cranked them high, I started high on all of them, um, and then I just brought them down in, by decreasing them in five by five point point five increments, you know, decre you know, decreasing it by five um, until I was happy how it was. <coughs> So you can see there. I'm using my mobile to film this, so I do apologise if there's not, uh, you know, a Sony a Sony camcorder in the day. Um, so you can see there. So that's so I'm using controller. One. Yeah. So I do recommend you get one of those OTG cables, though. Um, this video is, is Lewis um, has asked if I could do a I could send the settings over me nays. Uh, it's a good idea to get. I mean, everybody's got a smartphone now, near enough, uh, no matter what age you are, um, and it really is it's a worthwhile little thing to use. You don't have to faff around with a laptop, and we already carry enough stuff to the field as, as it is with the things we carry in our bags. So carrying a laptop as well is just another added, added, uh, added weight, and I'm always worried about forgetting, leaving behind, or whatever. Battery isn't that brilliant in in laptops. Mine's a Samsung, which is pretty good, it's a good, good, good laptop, but I don't um, prefer to use my phone. I always got my phone on me. It literally takes seconds to do. You just download the GUI app on the Play Store. I'm not too sure about uh, my OS because I'm an Android man, so I don't know the. I'd imagine it would be on the iOS. Um, it may not be because um, Android is open source. So, um, receiver. That's me. Midpoints, expo points. You can see everything there. Modes, I'm really interested in there. So, uh, some stuff motors, oh, sensors, very interested in that. So, uh, I'll do this one as well because it might be of some interest to you. Uh, D -D -D. I'll just scroll up for you. There we go. Loop time. 
So if you're running pretty much similar um, setup to, to myself with the uh, motors, ESCs and batch combination, then it will, there's the settings that have, that are on my, these work for me, they may not work for you, but you can try. I'm not, I'm not brilliant at tuning by any means. Um, I've just picked up a lot, a lot of information off YouTube and um, people that I know. Um, because, but unfortunately it's took me, it's just took me a lot of evenings where I, I haven't put any videos up because I've just been getting it to how I like it and sometimes you just got to knuckle down and get on with it and try and keep trying the best you can to, to get it how you, how, how you want it to, to fly and what's good for one person may not be good for another so hopefully these settings um, will be uh, you know okay and may help you a little bit um, I don't really need it any fancy settings in my radio, it's just all stock. Uh, that's, that's really it. I can't, there's nothing really I can, uh, I can show you really, I think. That's the main event. But, um, you know, there's the... I can't guess what I'm doing with that. The project there. Top secret. Um, yeah, so I'll bring the mini over. Put it on the laptop. Here's the mini. Uh, 504 and 5045s. 5045s, bull nose. I did try the 6 inch props on it, um, but they, they're okay. If they flat, I have a slime fan. But I just, I only had a set of four, so um, I still got them. And. The type of flying that I've been doing, I just put the five inch back on. Uh, and it flies fine. Uh, you know, Marvius UHF with the bottom bit missing. <laughs> yeah, that's that's really it. It's just a bash. I just throw it around. You see it in there. So. That's really it, really. So try the setting, try try those um, the pids in yours. See how you you get on. And you can pause through this video at any point, and you can try them. They may they may be fine, but what I found was with the the the, the settings on the, the the video I've just uploaded recently, where I'm flying through the allotment, those are my current settings because previous to that, the video before that. I was they were slightly off and they were still getting a bit of wobbling. You you, you do get a little wobbling with minis, it can't be avoided, obviously. Um, but I when I was doing that flight, it was very very calm and still, and I just wanted to try and get it as locked and rigid as possible. So when you're going through a nice tight object, it's just going through just. Just like it's on like, like the track going through that gap, you know, and you're on it. So I want it like that. And there's still a little bit more to do, a little more tweaking. And if if um, I've I've done another video and it, and uh, it's more uh, even better, even more lots in this. It's less. I mean, there was some slight wobbles in the video, so that they need to be eradicated. So if I find some more settings that I can be done that, that's got rid of those wobbles, I'll do another video or I'll, or I'll do a little update, you know. Um, but I'll try and get out when these winds down now because the winds are mental at the moment. Um, but I have got a Phantom 3 coming Monday night, Monday. So that's going to be taking just a little bit of my time this week while I get to grips with it. Um, uh, updates, uh, flying after work, and because I've got a, I've got a few uh, projects with that, and I'm, I'm gonna be busy doing things. Thumbs up for that one. Um, so I'm gonna be quite busy. I've got a, a few projects. Um, a few people would like to see the Phantom Three. <laughs> 
So anyway, let me know if this video has helped you at all. And just click a like. And, you know, much appreciated. That's about it. Okay. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.